What's going on guys? It's Smudgy here and today I want to talk about mastery camos, surprisingly enough, and just what we're going to see about them in the future because I'm not hopeful. Obviously Call of Duty is increasingly likely to move to a two year life cycle, maybe even a three year, probably not, probably a two year away from that annual cycle that we've seen, you know, throughout its entire lifespan. And I don't think that's a bad thing, I think the game needs it desperately. But with that being said, what do they do with mastery camos? Because as it stands, there's nothing in game outside of mastery camos to do. You know, pub stomping isn't fun the way that they set up the games anymore. The games are set up to play incredibly slowly. There's just not a lot to do. So either they make good multiplayer games, which I don't think they're going to do. I don't think it's their priority at least. I, I really don't. Or we just get a mastery camo that, you know, we do in a couple of months and then there's nothing to do for like, what, 22 months for the rest of the time? And the only I, I was going to make a video on this when the news came out that they were thinking of switching, you know, with the Microsoft acquisition, etc. But I was trying to figure out a way around it, how they do it. And literally the only thing I could think is they'd introduce something like Obsidian that we saw in Modern Warfare or just like a whole other mastery camo, like a second one for people to do in the second year. And that's just so depressing. The fact that there is so little confidence in a in a game to be able to make enough content for two years. Because I just, they don't care enough about multiplayer and I understand why not. You know, I'm not, I, I do understand why they wouldn't really care about multiplayer, you know, I'm not saying I'm not saying that I'm blinded enough by how much I personally like to play multiplayer that I could see why they wouldn't, but it just feels like if they're not- I forgot I was trying to equipped. It feels like if they're not gonna take notice of multiplayer- I don't want this one- multiplayer then what is there going to be because they clearly still want people to, to buy the game every year because it's linked to warzone and that's the easiest way to level up guns this one's not made for that range what are you doing and that's fine but at least make it an engaging experience i don't understand quite at the moment how they don't see the correlation of if they make a multiplayer that is in some way decent they get more people buying it that play warzone because they know it's not going to be the world's biggest waste of time and so they get more and more people playing it buying it and putting in that one-off you know can jeff move jeff my guy and they get people actually playing multiplayer if people knew that multiplayer wasn't going to be you know this just hot pile of garbage all the time just constantly just nothing but garbage everywhere you look then would they not be incredibly more inclined to play it even if they were warzone players even if they were only kind of getting it to level up weapons in warzone like oh my god no you're on my side sorry dog you are not even if they were just getting it to level up guns would it not be better to make a game that was semi-decent so people would want to buy it? Would that not suit them? Because as it stands, Warzone players just know it's awful and will not buy the game. And I don't blame them, like... I don't think you can blame them for not wanting to play a game, especially when they see all of us complaining about it all the time. Why the hell would they, you know? But the state of multiplayer is so concerning right now and like the future of it because they, they don't care for whatever reason it's not a priority to even make a playable game which just regardless of, of player numbers and what might be going on there like you could drag up you could drag a decent portion of warzone players into oh that's a god dog isn't it you could drag a decent portion of warzone players into multiplayer even for the two months it takes them to level up meta weapons like and every time you release a new weapon in a battle pass that is meta they go in and they level it up again like you could get that investment out of them 
because leveling up in Warzone is so annoying that I don't think most people would do it. And with that then comes, you know, people going for mastery camos, people might just enjoy the game, which I know is pretty unheard of at the moment. It seems just so bizarre. Maybe I am just legitimately blinded by the fact that I prefer multiplayer um, and have been playing it for a long, long time, but I just it seems nonsensical to me not to. You know, you're not going to convert everyone to playing multiplayer, and that's not what I'm saying. There's a reason Warzone does so well over normal multiplayer. Like, I don't think anyone's denying that. It's just, I feel like there has to be a world where they both exist in some capacity and they both exist to help each other. But then again, they can't even be bothered to make a mastery camo for the one thing that their multiplayer is known for and make it engaging and genuinely interesting to play with. So maybe I'm just entirely deluded. Anyway, I'd kind of like to know your thoughts on this. I just, I don't see what route they go with with mastery camos going forward, to be honest. It's just not looking good, is it? I'm trying really hard to find like a positive topic to talk about and there just doesn't seem to be one at the moment. But as always, I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.